Hello, hello, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to 3D model stairs in Rhino. Okay, so here's an, an example of two types of stairs. I'm going to show you how to model these two. This seems like quite tricky, but it's actually very easy. So let's start with these type of stairs, which is a linear type of stairs, very simple in practice and in theory as well. So let's model first the step. So I'm going to position myself in the top view, like so, clicking on the view, and then I'm going to tap it in the sides of my step. So in this case, I'm going to use um, going to use um, 300 millimeters because I'm working in millimeters, but you're more than welcome to use centimeters. So whatever you need measure you prefer. So 300 millimeters going for the steps and the width is going to be, let's say one meter. Here we go. Going to position myself on um, perspective and then i got like my rectangle in place so the next step would be to create a volume out of this and um, probably the most the fastest way would be create an extrusion so i'm going to curve sorry surface extrude curve straight because you are not going to have an angle or i can just type it in in the command line if you use windows perhaps it is here in the bottom i'm going to use the command extrude extrude curve okay so for the riser of my steps of my stairs i'm going to use something which is kind of standard which is 150 remember to tick the solid button, otherwise it's gonna be just uh, a group of surfaces, but we need something solid. 150 is fine. Let's enter this. And then I got my first step in place. Okay. So the way in which I create those steps, these stairs is, um, is quite mm, simple, let's say. So I'm going to use like rectangular, uh, sorry, array function. But in this case, I'm going to use linear array. OK, so I click on this one and he asked me which kind of object you want to, you know, uh, array. I'm selecting this one. OK, then he asked me the number of items. OK, I already did my math here. So basically, first uh, ground floor and first floor um, the height of the first floor is like 3000 millimeters. So I basically did a simple math. And uh, if I divide 3000 by 150, I got 20. So my riser was 150. Okay. And the total, the distance between ground floor and first floor is three meters. So I divide the two and it's 20. So I need 20 steps to go from ground floor to this floor. So 20, I input 20 here. Then he asked me for the first reference point. So in this case, I'm gonna use this corner. And then he's asking me for the seconds the reference point. As you can see, if I move in the space, it changed the direction. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, constrain to this construction using the steps itself as a reference. So I can point, for example, in this case, it, uh, it doesn't pick this corner because I'm using projection, projection uh, snapping. So I better to switch this off. Then if I click on this, as you can see, I already have 
my steps in place. It's pretty easy. So now what I have to do is just like maybe perhaps um, grouping them. I'm typing in command G to group them. And then perhaps next step would be to move those stair stairs where I want to have them, which is here. Okay. As you can see, you can create something like this with this construction, or you can create bigger stairs, steps, kind of, you know, concrete slabs like so. So in order to do this, um, let's remove this. Let's do it again using like maybe a fastest way. So instead of creating um, a rectangle, I'm going to use the box um, tool. So let's type it in the measure of this box. So I said it was like, um, it was 300 for the going millimeters. But in this case, I'm gonna double it up because as you can see, the reference point is sitting here in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is type it in the double, which is 600 for the going. And then the width uh, was one meter, so 1000 millimeter. The riser is gonna be the same, which is kind of a standard 150, 117, you know, 170. So I stick with 150. I tap it enter. And then I got my first lap, my first step. Again, I click on array. I select a linear array in this case. Number of items, I already did my math between like, you know, the floor to ceiling height, which was like from ground floor to first floor was 3000. 3,000 divided by 150 is 20. So 20 is the number of steps that I need. Then he asked me for the first reference point. I'm going to use the end, this corner, and then this midpoint, not this corner, like so. And uh, ta -da, this is the result. Again, I'm going to select and group my steps. And then I have just to position them in the right place. Pretty easy. OK, this is my way. Obviously, there are like plenty of other ways. For example, you can work on the side view or front view, depending on how is mm, your model oriented, and trace uh curves just like so so we can draw driving drawing like some curves like with the riser of 120 and then with the going of 300 like so and then the next step would be to copy them creating a linear uh, array as we did before. Do it once again, 150 by 300. I click, now I'm fine. And then with this linear array tool, 20 from this point to this point, okay? When I got this, the next step would be just to select them. Perhaps I have to move on better. I lock this element so they are not gonna bother me. And then I select just these curves like so. I join them, Command G, Control G on your keyboard, depending on key, uh, Mac or computer or Windows, or I click on this tool. And then I have this curve join as a one curve. The next step obviously would be like a surface extrude straight, giving a direction and with the width of 1000, that was the width that we've selected before. And then I have my 
stairs in place. Obviously now I've just extruded like a um, couple of lines. You can create something more complex. You can add like thickness. So this is like the next step of like improving uh, the quality of the detail of your 3D model. But as a starting point, this is like the fastest way that I would suggest you. Okay, so let's move on. Next step is creating this spiral stairs. Okay, so again, we start with this, uh, with our unit, which is our step. Um, I might have want to model it again, just to show you how simple it is to model a box, which is uh, <clears throat> 300 in the going, 1000 in the width, and 150 in height, which is our riser. Okay, so now how can I get to this point easily? And quickly well again the ra function is the one that we want to use since that <clears throat> we are going to um create something which is like uh revolves around a, a center point the polar array is probably the way to go so we select polar array he asks us uh which is the element that you want to copy it's this one and then the center. Okay, the center in this case is not going to be here. Otherwise, I'm going to copy all these steps and they are going to basically collide uh, all together each other. So I'm going to move the center a little bit further. So remember to use Smart Track on your um, snapping tool. You might have this on Mac on the side, you might have it on the bottom, or you might have to switch it on. <clears throat> so it's important to use Smart Track because uh, I can basically create a reference point. As you can see, if I go closer to some, uh, some points, I can create a reference point, which is like this white uh, dot. So I'm gonna use the middle of my step, moving a little bit further, let's say 500. And then the next uh, question is, how many items do I need? Okay, I already know this because I already did the math before. And I know that with a riser of 150, uh, with 20 items, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to have like, you know, 3000 uh, millimeter height stairs. So, 20 is the right number for us in this case. Next step is, okay, the, <clears throat> the, um, the revolving tools is asking us, you know, how many degree uh, we want to like, you know, copy these steps. So in this case, we need 360 because we want to fully, um, fully generate these steps, not just half of these stairs, but completely 360. So one revolution. The next question is like the Z offset. So uh, this is basically the height distance, okay? In this Z axis. Again, we know the 150 is our number, so it's okay. Press. I accept the preview. And I have my stairs in place. I group them and I move them. inside my uh, building. Okay, this was like my way to create steps and stairs very easily and quickly. Again, Rhino offers you a variety of tools 
that can allow you to generate shapes, forms, objects in many ways. So I feel this is one of the fastest way to generate them, but you are more than welcome to explore the Rhino uh, environment and generate the stairs with other technique. So I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on how to generate stairs and I'll see you in the next tutorial.